Hi, it's Crafty Doctor here, and today's video we are going to look at how to move all your games uh, from your Xbox, your standard Xbox or Xbox One S, to a new hard drive um, in ready for Xbox One X or Scorpio that uh, hopefully you've got on order. Uh, you can also use this just to transfer all your games from your internal drive to an external drive, but today we're just going to look at uh, getting ready for, like I said, moving across to the Xbox One X. So I'm using a Maxter, uh, model numbers on the screen there. Uh, the old drive that you can see on top of um, the Xbox here is uh, the one that I have some of my games stored on, but uh, that is a one terabyte one. Uh, but we'll open the Maxter drive box up, just speed this bit up so you can obviously don't want to watch me opening a box. Uh, but this is a two terabyte uh, standard Maxter uh, drive, uh, a USB free. Uh, so we'll just connect this uh, up to the Xbox uh, One and we shall just connect it to the side port uh, so you can just see what's going on and if you keep your eye on the um, Xbox home screen you should see um, it pop up the screen in a minute but I'll make it bigger anyway and get rid of this one in a second uh, so I'll give it a second just to recognise the new drive um, so I've got two drives connected now, my old drive, one terabyte and a two terabyte one. Uh, so you can see on the screen, use for media or for games and apps. So basically this is just asking how you want to format it. If you use it for media, you can watch films, play music off it, uh, but you can't load your games onto it. Obviously if you're transferring games onto it ready for your, your new Xbox One X Scorpio, uh, you need to format it in the correct format. So I'll pick the um, one that lets you format for the games. Uh, type in the, the name that you want to call this new drive. I'll just call mine um, Scorpio EXT for external. Uh, so this is the one that I'm going to use for my new Xbox One X uh, with all my games on it. So yes, I want to install uh, things on the Scorpio, the, the what I've just named it. Okay, so now we're at the uh, format storage device. So now it's going to format it. So Obviously, if you're using an older drive, it will clear everything down off it. So just be aware of that when you are uh, formatting the device. Make sure you remove everything if it's an oldest drive. If it's a new one, you don't need to worry about it. Okay, so we've got the prompt there. External storage is ready, so we're good to go. Uh, we can get on with how we're going to transfer the games across uh, from this Xbox One. Okay, so um, next thing we need to do is go into our home menu, go into settings, and then on the uh, left hand side we need to go down uh, to uh, system and then once in system we go across to backup and transfer first thing this the only thing we need to do here really is just check make sure that the uh, you see the bottom one there it says download 4k game content we need to make sure that is ticked um, obviously if you're not bothered about 4k content um, then you don't need to have this ticked but if you are transferring across to a new Xbox One X or Scorpio then yes you need to have that ticked. So now just click up back up my settings before we do anything else in this section you need to go across to the right hand side uh, where I've got the red arrow pick the drive you need to make sure that you pick the drive that you want to send the information to so obviously I'm sending mine to Scorpio EXT that's the drive I've just formatted and created uh, so once you have that selected uh, then you can start backing up some of the information to this drive. I'm not going to do the games at this point. All we're doing is just doing some of the general settings so the new Xbox will recognize us. So I'll go to what gets backed up. You can, if you're doing this on your Xbox, you can actually go into this and just read these if you want to see what gets backed up and what doesn't. I'll just put these on screen, but I will just skip through them quickly just so you can pause the video if you want to read each one of these individually. And I'll also put this information in the description box below so you can actually just read it at your leisure instead of trying to follow this video and trying to quickly see what gets backed up and what doesn't get backed up. But like I said, this stage is purely for that. Okay, so back to the home screen. If you go down to the bottom of the home screen, if you've done the update, you should have a one there that says transfer games and apps. This is a thing that Microsoft has built in. Uh, prepare for launch sort of thing. So where it says transfer games and apps, you need to click on that. And now we're taken to this selection box and we have a couple of things here. So you can see my internal drive, external drive. There's nothing yet on my new drive. Um, so that's just purely just to show you what's what we have in there. So back into settings, go down to system, go across down to storage. 
And then in here, you can now see the different drives and what's on what and what we have and what we don't have. So that's my internal drive, the one at 98%. My external drive, which is the one I showed at the beginning of the video, which is at nearly 93% used, the one terabyte one. And then I have my new drive that's on the far right, which is at no percent used, um, which is a two terabyte one. Okay, so that's just to show you what's on what with these drives. So go back to our home screen. Down again to where I was showing you on the home screen where this transfer games and apps item is. So we'll click on that to go back into here and now let's start uh, getting something transferred to this new drive. So we have the option here to select all, uh, which is uh, the green box currently highlighted. Uh, you can see the ones on the top, the internal, external and Scorpio. Um, and you can pick individual games if you didn't want to take all the, ga the games across to your new drive. You can just pick which ones you want. Uh, I tend to just get them all across and then just tidy them up later, delete them off. But like I'm showing you on the video, you can just tick individual ones and then move them across by going to move selected. I'm going to select all, so I grab everything off this drive. I know it's going to transfer from because just above the green box, I can see the internal it's transferring from there. So as soon as I go down now to move selected, it will ask me where it wants to send. It's got an option of two drives there, the targeted devices, one's external which is 92% 93% used and then my Scorpio one which is empty obviously I've got the both options because both are external drives um, but I'm not bothered about the um, smaller drive at this stage I just want to get stuff all the internal stuff off this hard drive off the internal hard drive and move it across to my new one okay so move selected it's saying, okay, which drive do you want to go to? I want to go to the new one I just formatted, the Scorpio EXT, the one that's two terabyte or 1.8 that's showing there. Select that one. And then obviously you're about to move 79 items from the internal drive to the new drive, the Xbox One uh, Scorpio drive. And then, okay, move. So I'm not going to show you how long it's going to take, but it roughly, to give you a rough idea, this will take about an hour and a half. So I will skip through I'll just briefly show you what it looks like when you uh, go to the games and you can actually see the games transferring. Uh, but I'm not going to obviously show you an, hour's, an hour and a half's worth of video to watch while they all get moved and uh, across to the new drive. So here we are. And you can see the games going across. Um, obviously just speed it up a bit just to see what you're looking at. This is in My Games and Apps in the queue. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll skip, I'll just show you a couple of seconds worth of this so you can see them transferring across. But to give you a rough idea, uh, my internal drive was nearly full, it was a 500 gig drive, um, and 93% or whatever it was, and it took it about an hour and a half to transfer all the games across to my new drive. So that's the smaller one that I have, my internal one. So. And the last thing in the queue, there was an update for Sea of Thieves. So like I said, I've skipped about an hour and a half's worth of uh, footage here, uh, just to show you this video, obviously. So once that's finished and completed, there should be nothing in the queue. And then obviously we should be finished and all games transferred from our Xbox One to our new Xbox One X drive. That's going to be when we get that uh, plugged in. I just need to go back to our home screen, across to system, down to settings, click on settings. And once you go into settings, down to system again, and then we need to go across to the right hand side, scroll down to storage again. And then now we should be able to see the drives like before that we have connected to our Xbox. So we have the internal one and a couple of external drives. The games that I moved before from the internal across to the new drive is indicated there. So now we've not got much left on the internal drive and we've got all our games across onto the new Scorpio Xbox One X drive. So I'll select the drive that we want to move stuff from now and push the menu button on there. Once you get the menu, you can then go down to transfer uh, and then it gives you an option, okay, so now it's asking us what do you want to transfer. You can see again the drives up the top now, it looks slightly different now because we've got our games off the internal. But you can see there that the one, that's my smaller external drive, the one I'm highlighting with the red box there, which is the one terabyte one. I want to select all the games and I want to move selected. And now it's saying, okay, where do you want to put all the games that you've got selected? I want to pick the Scorpio, which is my new Xbox One 
X drive. Just click move on here. It's, it's indicating there what it's going to look like once I've moved. So looks like I'm going to need a bigger drive again, but uh, we should get these moved across and give us uh, our free room or our space freed up on our other drives and get everything ready for our new Xbox. Because once everything is on this new drive, then all we need to do, because we've done the settings earlier, and we've also transferred all the games, then all we need to do is obviously just plug this into our new Xbox One X. Okay, so I've just gone to the um, apps and games menu. And then in here you can see the queue and see what's going on with the transfers. So I've set this off moving again and transferring everything. So this is moving everything from the, my one terabyte external drive to my new two terabyte um, drive that are both connected to my Xbox One at the moment. So again, I'm not going to leave that um, showing because that's even more games. And uh, I think it took about three hours to transfer that uh, across to the new drive. So in total, um, all my storage and all my gains, which is about um, one and a quarter terabytes, took about four and a half hours, uh, just to give you an idea. And also, I think just while we're in this menu here, if we just go up to the games, I'll just show you how you can just double check that everything's going across. So go up to games, where it says all storage, and then you can see my three different drives, internal, external, and a Scorpio one that I've just created. So in here, I can pick the drive that I want. Uh, to see which game so I'm highlighting internal and it's just saying nothing's on there go to external which is my older drive again nothing on that one and then go down to Scorpio which is my new Scorpio Xbox drive and you can see all the games are now all transferred and all on this new drive that uh, we have just created so that's all the settings and all the games are on so again up to the home screen into settings down into system, across to the right, down to storage. And then once we're on storage, we can now just get a better view of what's on the drives. So you can see that internals got plenty of space left, so like 14% now. Um, still a few bits on there, but just a general operating system. External, you can see there. Uh, which is my older drive and then my new two terabyte drive um, which is showing it's got 707 gig free still um, of the 1.8 that it's got available to it so that's it that's all the games and that's how to transfer all your settings and all your games from your old xbox one to your new xbox one x uh, onto an external hard drive i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do leave us any comments below Please do subscribe to my channel and please also give us a big thumbs up and thank you very much for watching.